Hey, wellness crew, and welcome to Meditation with Jenna. I am so glad that you're here today with me. And I'm very excited about this practice. So let's begin simply by noticing our breath. Now bringing awareness to any sensations you may be feeling in your body. I recommend scanning your body head to toe and then toe to head slowly. And if you notice any areas of tension, just kind of keep a mental note for now. I'm not going to make you hold it in your head for very long, <laughs> but just keep that like note in your head for now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do that square breathing, but we're going to do, remember, a four second inhale a four second hold, a six second exhale, and a four second hold. So it's not really a box. I don't know what shape that would be. <laughs> Maybe like a rhomboid, is that right? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been in high school in a very long time or in college in a really long time. So <laughs> excuse my ignorance. <laughs> so let's begin. All right, go ahead and relax into your normal deep breathing that you do for a regular meditation.
And I apologize for any background noise. <laughs> Today we have an event going on, so everyone is up and ready or getting ready or playing. So I apologize for any background noise you may hear. All right, we're gonna slowly bring our right ear to our right shoulder. We're gonna slowly allow it to fall forward, coming into a half circle. So our left ear is close to our left shoulder. And going back the way that we came. One more time. Now from this position, we're gonna go ahead and let our head fall backwards. To end up in the same position with our left ear near our left shoulder. And then our right ear to our right shoulder. This time what we're going to do is as we are leaning our head back, we're going to stop in the middle so that way we can open up our throat chakra, okay? And going to the left side. And then one more time to the middle back to stretch out our throat. And bringing that right ear to our right shoulder. We're close to it. <laughs> Just bringing our head back to center. You may notice a difference in how your neck and your throat feel. You may also feel free to close your eyes at any point in time.
Today's meditation is going to be about speaking up for ourselves. I'll begin with the affirmations. I know I am worthy of my voice being heard and understood. I can always choose to communicate clearly and speak with my intention being well understood. I understand that sometimes when someone makes a request that makes me feel uncomfortable, that does not, that request does not align with my values. And that is why it bothers me. I always have the option to pause and say no. After I say no, I am not required to give an explanation as to why, but I will remain courteous and kind in my demeanor. If I ever feel frustration at being unheard, there is nothing wrong with having that feeling or having that emotion. I accept that it is out of my control how people will perceive what I say, but that I can make attempts to clarify and to become a more effective communicator.
I know what does and does not serve me. When I make a promise to myself, I keep it or at the minimum, make every possible attempt to keep it. Standing up or speaking up for myself does not have to come from an aggressive place. But regardless, if I'm a woman or a man, it can come from masculine energy. I teach myself to make my brown, my brownies, <laughs> my boundaries well known before a line can be crossed. I can only be emotionally hurt by another person if I allow it to happen. I free myself of the normative ways of thinking and open myself up for new opportunities and possibilities to stand up for myself and to make sure that whatever situation I am walking into, that it is best suited for me to the best of my ability. For this meditation, I'm getting a gray color of energy. And I think that's because gray represents like the color of a fortress, like, you know, like the walls, the barriers of a fortress. So I think that's why that's what I'm receiving. We begin to envision this pearlescent gray high frequency energy. In whatever form we would like.
we know that strength comes from our inner fortress and our ability to make our needs and our wants known when appropriate. We are safe to express ourselves as long as it does not cause harm to ourselves or others. Hurting another person's feelings is not causing harm because it is not you doing the hurting. It is that person receiving it that way, accepting it that way, and choosing to be hurt. We lean our, we tilt, I mean, tilt our chin back. Breathe into our neck. Breathe in specifically to our throat, the front of our neck. Allowing the gray pearlescent high frequency energy to rest upon the front of our neck. To free us from any pre-programmed thoughts any conditioned thoughts that we have about what it means to have to stay quiet and understanding that those beliefs are limiting and we always have the right to speak up for ourselves. We lower our chin back. We feel this energy on the left hand side of our neck. The right hand side of our neck. And the back of our neck. Bring our entire throat to be able to speak up for ourselves or just be able to express ourselves and speak. Consider this gray pearlescent high frequency energy as helping to heal your wounds of inadequacy, of insecurity, of fear, if you have any, toward having your needs and wants met.
literally feeling any tension, anything that you're carrying, specifically in the front of your neck where your throat is, feeling anything that's keeping you mentally from feeling comfortable speaking up for yourself, feeling that dissipate, feeling that being pulled away. Almost as if by a magnet, past the pearlescent gray energy and into black energy, an onyx, a beautiful onyx energy. Now feel this pearlescent gray energy on your chest and in your heart. Opening your heart freeing your chest of any tension. Feeling any fear dissipate. Not allowing any memories of times when you weren't able to speak up stop you from speaking up going forward. Opening your heart to loving all aspects of yourself. Feeling yourself embody a complete and full confidence, a complete belief in yourself and in your ability to set standards, to let your opinions be heard, to let your thoughts be known, but only if you so choose to share. Feel your heart opening, knowing that there are people that will accept you for exactly who you are. There are people that will listen, who won't talk over you, who won't wait for their turn to speak, but really listen. And whether you've been able to acknowledge those people in your life yet or not, know that they exist and have an extreme amount of gratitude for those people existing. And understanding that the stronger your belief comes into this concept, they will be attracted to you and they will come into your life. While we may not be able to predict when, they will come into your life. It just requires your belief, an adjustment to your thoughts, and being fearless in speaking up for yourself and being fearless in letting your feelings be known when appropriate.
Now we begin to feel this pearlescent gray high frequency energy on our foreheads, right in this area. We're able to look deep inside and see if there's anything lingering that could potentially hold us back. If we can identify any, which most of the time it'll be fear still, or a feeling of inadequacy, or a feeling of like guilt for maybe not working on this sooner. That's been my experience with my clients. And I've had those feelings myself in the past. Whatever those feelings are that you're having or that you see as potential barriers, simply acknowledge them and express gratitude that you are able to identify them. Because now you know where your work needs to go. And know that there are resources out there to help you on your journey. If you didn't identify anything latent, And then perhaps today is the day that you're able to speak up for yourself, even if in just a small way. Even the tiniest stuff, for example, of, you know, wanting to move around a piece of furniture and not feeling like you have to ask permission to do so. This is just you expressing an opinion, trying something new. And ultimately, it can always return to its original spot. Something as small as that would be a step towards standing up for yourself, expressing yourself, letting your wants be known, expressing that you have ideas of how you want things to look or how you want things to feel. And all of those things you are worthy of. So we feel this pearlescent gray 
high frequency energy around our foreheads, around our neck, on our chest, and in our heart. And if anything comes up, releasing it into that onyx energy. That is just beyond your fortress. Being proud of yourself for the steps that you've taken today in this meditation to be able to acknowledge that you are worthy of expressing yourself, of standing up for yourself, and for creating boundaries. Allowing this gray pearlescent high frequency energy to stay with you the rest of the day. And slowly but surely, returning to your normal breath. Slowly beginning to flutter your eyes open. And knowing now what you are capable of. I've used this meditation with several of my clients something very close to it. And I've found it to be incredibly effective when used in conjunction with taking action and, you know, really starting to make steps towards, or not even really making steps, but going ahead and speaking up for yourself, but just remembering to do it in a like non-confrontational way when possible. If it's a situation where it's become a threatening situation, if a person has threatened to take something that you love from you, or if someone has threatened to do something to cause harm to something that belongs to you. You know, those are moments where you would want to really know that you have self-control to even be able to mitigate that kind of situation. Um, and whatever that person has done or said or has allowed others to say, you come from a place of forgiveness. And that sounds incredibly difficult because a lot of times if something has been happening for a long time, it's very easy for resentment to build up. And when you're in a place of gratitude for, you know, other things that are going on in your life, I have found personally that resentment is much more difficult for me to identify with. And I've seen that... Um, 
I'm able to generally find the right way to communicate if I need to communicate with an, an energy that's like that. I generally find that my higher power provides me with tools and opportunities that I didn't see coming to handle that particular kind of situation. Early on in your process of speaking up for yourself and learning how to and gaining your confidence, I don't think that tackling a situation like that is ideal. But once you've really started to get in the groove of it, get in the practice of it, the behaviors, the, the feelings and emotions, our feelings and our emotions are temporary, but sometimes we can use that as motivation, use it for fuel, use it for a positive. So even when occasionally or however often you have negative feelings, you can actually use those as a positive and you can turn them into something good by choosing to learn from them. Choosing to learn about yourself, acknowledging the truths about yourself, seeing yourself clearly, knowing what you want to say, knowing what you feel is important, knowing your values. And when you're there, in that place of, you know, feeling like a high value woman or man, it is then that you can maybe start to address those types of things, but it requires a lot of work. And so much of this work is going to be unseen by other people and unseen by um, you know, well, pretty much everyone, you know, the whole point is that you're taking time to focus on working on the things that you have identified that need a little bit more love and care, you know, like a little bit more time to heal. But once you've identified those, and you've identified the resources and tools that you need in order to heal it, you will be unstoppable. You will be able to handle situations that you did not believe you would be able to handle. I can tell you this from personal experience. You will be able to handle things you didn't think were possible. You will be able to achieve things you didn't think were possible. And it all came from wanting to be heard and not allowing yourself to be silenced anymore. Because you've, you know, been programmed, you know, in, in a way that's what our society does. It does it to both women and men, you know. So once you're in a place of freedom, you know, once you feel safe within yourself, once you see truly what is important, what your values are, have your life become something that aligns with those values, you will be unstoppable, my love. <laughs> You really will. So that was today's meditation. I am so glad that you joined me. And if you were with me the whole time, I thank you so much. That's amazing. And I really hope that now you feel like you have a little bit of a better grasp of maybe how to kind of like dig in a little bit into yourself 
And if you ever, you know, feel like, oh, well, you know, yes, I have my resources and I have this and I have that. There's still this video, you know, it's still going to be here. You can always come back and experience that feeling that we felt, especially talking about having the um, things that are holding you back, having them pulled out of you. Um, there's just something very symbolic and it really does something to our brains. And it's like, oh, okay. You know, I can actually kind of like see that or I can actually, I, I felt that, you know. Um, so you can always listen to this again, <laughs> you know, whenever you want. Um, and I just hope that you're able to come away from this knowing that you can always speak up for yourself and you can always have, you know, power and you can always trust and rely in your higher power as well. Um, because I think that's an, a very important component as well. And that's just me. You know, everyone's different. Everyone has different opinions when it comes to that. Um, but for me, it's a very important component and where I get a lot of strength. <laughs> Anyways, again, thank you for joining me on this meditation. I'll see you on the next video. Be well. Stay wild.